This guy here is the new package for the free well magnetic and the variable filters, <laughs> VND filters, um, that also comes with a couple of stuff which we'll discuss in a second. But yeah, we want to check this out and uh, you got to pay attention. Hello guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. My name is Alec Godwin if you're meeting me for the first time and today we're talking about these guys, Freewell Magnetic VNDs and they call themselves the world's first versatile magnetic VND. Um, we have two to five stops, six to nine stops, CPL, ND32, VND Mist 2 to 5, we have VND Mist 6 to, that's a lot. If you're here for the first time, subscribe, please. This is um, one of those things we do here, which is uh, review what we use, gear up. So let's unbox. Okay. Installation instruction, really? No, no, no. I am... Scar QR before start using the product. What? Really? Are we really gonna do this? I didn't see this coming. For filters? Three of three videos. Wow. I have to study for these filters. Uh, let's continue and see what's in the box. Nice. Let's take a look at this. Ooh. Nice. Now remember, these are 77 each. What I got are 77. Um, I had to get adapters so I can use them on my lenses. Okay. Wow! As soon as I got them out, they snapped together. Ooh, I'm going to fight to take them apart now. Let's come back here. Ooh, we are looking at uh, the ND6 to 9 and 2 to 5 stops. Well, how easy is this to take them apart? Okay, so we were able to. That's nice. Um, let's put them aside. Now, what is this? This is um, East VND base. Okay, mm, how does this work? We'll see. And then let's bring out this guy, the heaviest part. Now, look at this. Uh, so I guess that attaches to this. This is a little bit heavy. It looks like two things are already here. Let me try it on my on my serial lens. The serial. This is the micro for third one for the BGH one, and um, I'm going to try try it on the lens, adapting this one. So let me get the adapters. Here are the adapters. So let's get this guy ready. I already have a, a, a filter on it. So we got something better coming now. So you got to grow. Let's get this guy off. Okay. All right. So now let's bring the filter. How do we set this up? Oh. I need to study. So we we'll watch the videos, okay? We we'll watch the video and figure it out. So we'll be back, huh? So I'm gonna screw the base on it. The base has the um, VND on it, which is the base VND. So I'm gonna screw that on. 
okay this is this is really good especially in the field when you're trying to make things right and you know screw things no more screwing just uh kissing all right thank you guys let's go to the field and get some shots earlier on i used the um my serial lens which is 67 millimeters this is the Sigma 18 to 35. This is what I'm actually going to be using as my outdoor sample. And uh, first of all, I've got my ring. This first ring here is 60, 72 to 77 adapter. So you could do that either with your product or a third party. The first thing we have to do is you have to put in the ring first. And the ring has the base, it could, you could take out the base. Okay, let's put the ring. And um, this time, the first ring, you, you need to screw that in. There's no magnet at this point. So this ring brings the magnet to the shoe. See the, the ring? We can take this one out now. Okay, so this is the base. You base VND, we'll put that in, align it so that it's here and here then the magnet will take it. Now you need to do this right, because I've seen people complaining that the magnet is not strong. You have to align it up. That's why you need to watch the video mentioned earlier. Um, the base comes with one ND. Let's, uh, let's see how that looks. Um, let's, take a, let's take a clip without the ND. This is the CISK Pro, you know we have the ND filters internally, but I'm not going to use that today. So I'm going to record just like a normal camera would capture. Here we go. We have a, it's all bright. You see how, how strong it is. Um, we are wide open at 1.8. Now, assuming we want this, this is what we're going to do. Now we're going to get our base. Now we're going to put the base which is the base, um, regular base VND, no effects added. So just push that in, we got it in place now. So uh, let's see, with one ND, I'm gonna, we just added one ND. Let's go on to two to five stops, which means uh, it will be three to six stops because of the initial one that's here. So let's drop this, okay. So let's see now, and let's adjust our picture till we get the best uh, quality possible. Um, focus needs to be in order. <laughs> yeah, I know I wasn't focused. So now we got the focus on, and let's see how much we can rotate to get the best. We definitely need more, so let's get the... Because we are wide open at 1.8, we need more. Let's get the... Um, and the six to nine stops. Let's take out the two to five and use the six to nine alone. Image looking good. Looking good, but um, I don't know what stop we are. Let's take this off. Let's try the, um, yeah. This is ND32 plus one ND, which is um, six stops. So let's do this. Um, let's go back to the VND version again. So we are getting about the same thing. So let's go test the CPL which is on this side. We want to use the CPL on a car or something. So we'll get the CPL and, and snaps in like that. So let's move. Um, let's, go, let's go crash a car. Woo! <sighs> okay, we just dropped it into little pond of water right outside. I think there was a water spillage and uh, unlocking me, this just fell into it. Ah, 
So now we got to know it is waterproof, it is um, scratch proof, a lot of proofs. So let's see how well we recover. So this is all I have here, <laughs> a mask to clean it up. So there's our filter and we're recording on this side. We can't see, we can't really see the inside of the vehicle. So we're gonna put this now, mount the CPL. Um, even though it's wet, let's see if the magnet still works. Keep it on this. Okay. Oh, there's some sand. I can hear the sound. So CPA comes in. That's better. Sounds better. And yeah, already we can see better. Yeah, you see that? It's faded, but now we turn. We have one ND in there. So now we see that we see better inside. Let's take a look at it again. And here we go. Looking out better now. Okay, and that's the, that's, good. that's the same thing for water surfaces or some shiny surfaces. So let's get the base with the mist now. And that will come here. So we have the mist VND base and we line it up here. All right, so we got it in. Um, I know our image is dark, but let's see. So now we have the best v VND. We got some, you can see the difference when I put it on. Uh, if you want to add the sepia, if you want to add the sepia with that um, mist effect as well, we can add it right this way. So CPL comes here. This is why this thing shines. This is why this thing rocks. All from one system. What a deal, what a great deal. I mean, who needs another set? Who needs another set of filters? I, I don't think, besides IR cut for the Black Magic, I don't need anything else. So CPL, VND, no, this is CPL, Mist VND. One stop, you see that? Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.